Welcome back. The call for justice for Anjali is only growing and the chorus for uh, trying the accused for murder and adding the charges of Section 302 to the FIR is also only growing louder with Anjali's family actually protesting right outside the Sultanpuri police station earlier in the day. Meanwhile, the special CP Delhi Sagarpreet Hudda said that it's a, it's a legal aspect. They cannot add it because prima facie, they don't have the evidence to add murder charges, but it's a legal aspect and the courts have then to direct whether or not they deem that the that the that the accused now the accused number is now seven and not five do they should they all be charged with under charges of murder now speaking exclusively to news 18 nidhi's mother has also in the meantime said that the five accused uh, tried to even hit nidhi with the car she has also rubbished the allegations made by Anjali's family while trying to defend her daughter and her version of what happened. The Delhi police considers uh, Nidhi to be a key eyewitness, although they believe that she also, her mental makeup, her psychological well-being also needs to be tested and checked. The Delhi police has also disclosed some very, very sensational details, even as a new CCTV video has emerged in the Delhi heat and drag case. This CCTV video points to the grey Bolino being parked in uh, GK1, uh, in sector 1 in Rohini and the car being, uh, keys being handed to the owner of this car, Ashutosh, who's now been made one of the accused. He's absconding, he's not been seen. But in the CCTV, clearly four or five people are seen. There are four people seen stepping out of the car and all of them, uh, in fact, they took an auto from nearby and fled the scene. They actually confessed to Ashutosh that they have hit somebody. There's been an accident. They were drunk. Now, uh, meanwhile, according to the police, two more people have been identified. Ashutosh, the owner of the car, and Ankush are all involved and they've been added to the accused list. So there are seven accused now. The five main accused were produced in Rohini court and their police custody has been extended by four more days. Anjali's family and neighbours, like I said, are still demanding that Section 304 be added to the FIR. Let's listen into the reactions. Amari. अठारह टीम्स इसमें काम कर रही हैं और मल्टीपल जो टीम्स हैं वो सभी पहलुओं पर काम कर रही हैं पांच एक्यूज्ड हमारी कस्टडी में हैं उनका कस्टडी के दौरान इंटरव्यूशन हो रहा है सीसीटीवी फुटेज के आधार पर और जो सीडीआर के आधार पर हमें ये पता लगा है कि इसमें दो लोग और इन्वॉल्व थे और उनके लिए पु अभी रेड कर रही है, इन्वेस्टिगेशन अभी जारी है, सस्टेन्ड इंटरव्यूशन के आधार पे ये पता लगाया है हमें कि जो दीपक था, वो उसने अपने आप को ड्राइवर बताया था, लेकिन इंटरव्यूशन के दौरान हमें पता लगा है कि एक्चुअली जो गाड़ी थी, वो अमित ड्राइव कर रहा था, और ये इसके हमारे पास साइंटिफिक � तीन बजे रात में हाँ जी हाँ घबरा रही थी बहुत तगड़ी मम्मी मेरी साथ एक्सीडेंट हो गया बहुत तगड़ा हाँ मेरे को भी मार रहे थे वो लोग आ बस यही बात हो ही थी साहब जी मेरे से तो मेरे को नहीं पता वो आदमी कौन थे कौन नहीं थे नाम उनके साथ थी मैं निधि ने अंजलि के बारे में आपको बताया हाँ मैं तो उ कभी पूछ लो मैं रखती नहीं फोन तो मेरे को चलाना ही नहीं आता साहब जी निधि ने घटना वाली रात के बारे में आपको बताया क्या कैसे एक्सीडेंट हुआ कैसे, कैसे मारा तो वो उसको भी गेर लिया था स्कूटर पे से उस पे से उस पे उस पे से ये मोटर ये स्कूटरी पे उस पे से भी गेर लिया था उनने तो गेर के फिर उसको उसको भी मार रहे थे वो लड़के उस पे भी गाड़ी चला रहे थे निधि ने उस रात आपको अंजलि के बारे में बताया था बताया बताया था बताया था आगे पीछे करके मारा उसको हाँ फिर इस पे भी गाड़ी चला रहे थे उस साहब जी इस पे भी गाड़ी चला रहे थे वो ऐसा उस पे भी कति गाड़ी चला रहे थे ये उठ के डरती ओढ़ घबरा के और भाग ली भाग गयी हाँ जी जो आरोप लग रहे निधि पे क्या कहिएगा निधि पे बस अंजलि के परिवार वाले लगा रहे हैं कि वो झूठ बोल रही झूठ बोल रही है वो तो परिवार तो झूठ बोल रहा है साहब जी मैं तो देख रहा क्यों कहूंगी आप कह रही हैं कि अंजलि का परिवार झूठ बोल रहा है जो निधि पे आरोप लगा रहे हैं झूठ बोल झूठ बोल रहे हैं वो तो एक्सीडेंट होया साहब जी उस पर भी गाड़ी चला चढ़ा रहे थे वो लड़के ये आ रही थी एकदम ये कूद की 
कूद के गिर गिर नीचे नीचे गिर के एरिस पे भी नू चढ़ा रहे थे गाड़ी even as the family of the deceased are demanding that the that the murderers or the or these brutes be charged under murder the cops are saying there is no evidence of a motive and that's why uh, yeah, the charges are under 304 and not 302 let's go across to our reporter sidhan joining us live from right outside nidhi's residence but first to ananya and shireen joining us live from roini court uh, clearly four more days of custody extended but did the cops also say that the accused are actually trying to confuse they are inconsistent with their versions and did the cops tell the court that the person who was driving amit actually did not have a license and that's why they act they came out and made a false claim that another of the person who was actually sitting in the front on the on the passenger seat he was the one driving the car Ananya well, definitely Anand you know a lot of claims were made by the police a lot of submissions were made by the police before uh, in fact uh, uh, the Rohini court where these accused persons were produced via video conferencing number one that there are two more accused person into this case it was clearly informed to the court on record secondly that Deepak uh, was actually taken into picture because uh, the person who was driving that particular car did not have a license and that's why it was initially said by the accused person that Deepak was driving that particular car another a uh, very sensational claim that was made by the police was that these accused are trying to confuse the police and uh, that's the reason why in fact five more days of custody remand is required now wh what would the police be doing in this four days of police custody remand is they would be uh, tracing down the roots of all of these accused persons and would now and would also be taking uh, might take them for a crime scene recreation and uh, uh, they would see uh, in fact in, in the right. three days of police custody remand initially th that they had got they had recovered a lot of cctv footages including that of a petrol pump for, uh, from where the car got uh, fuel and another a uh, cctv footage with, with, uh, which is with regards to the uh, restaurant where these accused person actually had uh, uh, um, uh, food Uh, is what the police had told the court, and now four more days of police custody remand is granted. Now, Anand uh, Sharin is also with me. She was out there. Uh, what kind of a security arrangement Sharin was there on ground uh, when these accused persons? No, were Anand, you also need to ask uh, Sharin. Because, uh, what, is the, is the Sultanpuri police, police station? There was, in fact, a lot of uh, you know a speculation that there could, in fact, be untoward incident that could happen because there was a lot of lawyers and bystanders who were gathered outside the courtroom, uh, and that is why probably once again there was, in fact, a video conferencing. But this time, unlike last time all the accused were in fact uh, produced they were in fact inside the local lo lo lockup uh, in about uh, from the gate number 6 and then uh, the video conferencing happened from the lockup so that, and we have seen how both the roads have in fact been completely blocked uh, because there was a lot of gathering here of the lawyers and bystanders and there could in fact be violence that could have taken place and that is why uh, in order to avoid any untoward incident there was in fact the security that was beefed up and then uh, the uh, when the accused were taken out as well all the uh, uh, lawyers were also asked to uh, uh, you know leave this particular space so that was the kind of security that was in place See, but now with one aspect that stands that out sherin and ananya as i pull away from crucial. you and i go across to siddhant is the fact that these brutes called up ashutosh ahead and told him that there has been an accident and we've hit somebody and we were in a drunk state but we need to drop the car and we need to rush we need to run away they ran away from the scene now does that not make them culpable meanwhile siddhant this uh, nidhi may, there are many who are saying that she should also be charged under 304 and may made a co accused although the cops believe she is an eye witness because she is the one who is lending credence but was she actually there anjali's family is even questioning her own presence so are they going to verify the call data records and did anjali lie when she said ki mera phone toot gaya because she went to her neighbor and asked for a c type charger to charge her phone जी बिल्कुल आनंद एक्चुअली यू नो दीज क्वेश्चन गो गोज गो आउट टू डेली पुलिस बिकॉज दे आर स्टार विटनेस इन द केस इज इज नाउ बींग क्वेश्चन बिकॉज दे आर हैव बीन मल्टीपल डिस्कपेंसीज इन द स्टेटमेंट दैट शी हैज गिवन इन मीडिया एंड एंड गोइंग बाय पुलिस इज वर्जन द सेम स्टेटमेंट शी हैज गिवन टू पुलिस नाउ अंजली अंजलीज फैमिली हैज टू से दैट इफ पुलिस इज बिल्डिंग द इंटायर केस ऑन निधि स्टेटमेंट एंड इफ देर आर 
discrepancy, then how can we trust police's investigation, which is again valid? Second and the most important point, Anand, here is that uh, Nidhi uh, is not uh, uh, Nidhi. Uh, now it has become a fight between the two families, Nidhi's family and Anjali's family. So the allegations and counter allegations are coming Correct. from the, both the, the sides. Families may be and wanting to share other, blame or, 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 or pin not, the blame. Siddhant, yeah. I'm pulling away from you, but let's not forget the brutes. The brutes in the car are the ones who should be tried and there should be a strong case made to charge them with murder because they dragged the person for 12 kilometers. They also forward, went forward and reversed the car knowing fully well that somebody was stuck and was shouting and screaming for help when they banged into that scooter, uh, into that scooty. Moving away, big news uh, coming in from Bengal on the one day Bharat stone pelting incident. We are now given to understand that three juveniles, three juveniles are currently in custody and uh, they have been taken into custody with respect to vandalism on the Vande Bharat trains uh, and they have now been sent to a juvenile court. Kamalika now joins us with more details. Kamalika, which incident is this? The Malda one or the new Jalpaiguri one? So this is the uh, one, the second one, the Kishan Ganj. Uh, as the railway pointed out in the morning, that this incident, the 3rd January incident, which took place in exactly in Kishan Ganj area of Bihar, uh, where four people were seen uh, in this uh, in this uh, CCTV camera in this uh, body embedded camera of Vande Bharat and police and RPF and GRP they were together doing this investigation where they saw that four people were there and they were preparing to pelt stones so uh, this uh, you know taking lead from this video uh, this investigation started and. Uh, now what we are uh, coming to know and the statement which has been given by Kishan police is that three juveniles have been taken, have been sent to court. So these were, uh, they were 14 years of old, though they were four persons, but till now three uh, juveniles have been sent to uh, court. That's what we, that's what we are getting it from the Kishan police. Well, thank you for your inputs, Kamalika. More news coming through. Suddenly, the news flow uh, here into the newsroom has just picked up speed and it's all happening here on The Nation at 5. After this entire double urination horror on the Air India of aircrafts and flights, the DGCA, the DGCA has now sent a show cause notice to Air India. So, will there be strict action against the crew, the pilot of these two uh, aircrafts? The incidents is happening in November and in December. The DGC are taking cognizance and will there be further action? We will try and uh, go across uh, to, to try and get to to get more details. But clearly, the DGC is now issuing a show cause notice. I'm going to I'm going to check if the show cause notice is open here on our uh, news desk. Uh, just quickly open the news desk, and this is a press note that's been uh, that's that's been issued, uh, that's been released. The incident on Air India flight AI 102 from New York to New Delhi, dated 26 11 2022. The incident of passenger misbehavior that occurred on AI 102 flight 26 11 2022 came to the notice of the DGCA on the 4th of January, wherein a male passenger conducted himself in a disorderly manner and allegedly relieved himself on a passenger. For fact-finding, DGCA sought details of the incident from Air India and on the basis of the airline Prime FIC, it emerges that provisions related to handling of an unruly passenger on board have not been complied with. That's what they're saying. The conduct of the concerned airline appears to be unprofessional and had led to a systemic failure. Prime FSI, it looks like a lack of appreciation in regulatory obligations as described. As described, Ridhima is with us. Ridhima, I'm just going to ask you to quickly get the uh, mic and then also tell us that Air India really now finds itself in the dock, especially with this paragraph, where they are saying you have not conducted yeah. yourself as you should as an airline. Oh, absolutely. This is mincing no words as far as the DGC is concerned. Just look at uh, the finer print. It says that whatever protocols th that have been given that need to be followed for the handling of an yes. unruly passenger, the the airline. that hasn't been complied with. Two, the conduct of the airline itself seems to be unprofessional and that has led to a systematic failure. So the onus is on the crew and the airline so as Shoka's well. So notices issued to the, to the the accountable manager of Air India, director in flight service of Air India, and all the pilots and cabin crew members of that flight as to why enforcement action should not be taken against them for dereliction of their regulatory obligations. However, to meet the ends of justice, they've been given two weeks' time. 
to submit their reply to the DGCA. Based on that, further action will be taken. But this is only for 26 November. What happened on the 6th of December? Will there be another show cause Absolutely. notice? We'll have to wait and watch on that. Thank you, Rudima, for your inputs. We're going to take a quick break here on The Nation at 5. Stay with us.